welcome to Coastal 101, I'm John Kelly. When the camping season is over and it's time to park your RV, camper, or trailer, there are some important steps to take to protect your investment. We call this winterizing, and I'm gonna show you some of the basics. Before you winterize your RV, including the water system, be sure to consult your owner's manual for specific guidelines. To winterize your RV, you'll need some basic hand tools and non-toxic RV antifreeze if you live in a colder climate. Before you put your RV away, check all the engine fluids and top them off as needed. Go around your vehicle and look for rust, cracks, or damage, and repair those as well. Don't forget to properly inflate your tires. Place a rodent repellent bag in every cargo space. Put a few on the inside of the trailer as well. This will help keep rats and mice out of your RV and might help keep them from chewing on your wiring as well. You'll also want to add a moisture remover to the inside of the RV. If your RV has water filters, remove them or bypass them. Now, drain the fresh water holding tank, followed by the black tank and then the gray tank. To get all the water out of the entire system, open every hot and cold faucet, as well as the toilet valve and outside water, such as a shower. Open the low point drain lines and turn on the water pump. Once water stops coming out, turn off the water pump and close all the faucets and recap both drain lines. If you live in a region where freezing temperatures happen all the time, it's a good idea to add non-toxic antifreeze to your water system. This will keep your pipes from cracking. If you live in a temperate area, you can probably skip the antifreeze. Wherever you live, be sure to turn the water heater off. If necessary, turn it off at the breaker. Now bypass the water heater and drain it. You'll find the drain at the bottom of the water heater access. Use a socket wrench to remove it. Leave the drain plug off until spring. To add non-toxic antifreeze to the system, undo the suction side of your water pump and add a clean line from the pump to your bottle of antifreeze. Double check that the taps and faucets are off and you have bypassed the water heater. Now turn on the water pump. Go to the first tap and turn on the hot and cold faucets until antifreeze runs out. Then turn off those faucets. Repeat until you've checked them all. Don't forget the toilet and the shower. When you're done, you can remove the antifreeze hose and reinstall the intake line. Now you're all set for winter. Removing all the antifreeze in the spring is easy. You'll fill your fresh water tank and use a chlorine-free water system cleanser as directed. Then it's just a simple step of turning on the pump and water running through all the faucets until the taps run clear. Wait 12 hours, then refill the system and flush it again. Whether you're winterizing your RV, preparing for one last camping getaway, or planning ahead for future trips, your Northwest owned and operated coastal has everything you need. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.